Yo, Gray. Yo. Um, I wanted to talk to you about something. What's up? Lately, a lot of people have been saying some stuff about us on the internet, and um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like it. So I, I kind of wanted to talk to you about it. I mean, I don't know if you've been on like the internet at all in the past, maybe three weeks, but it seems like uh, people have a lot to say about us. Honestly, I've been staying off social media lately because I just like keep seeing people like making these assumptions about us, and I don't like it. It's not, you know, it's getting me down. So I've been putting my phone down. Yeah, that's I'm, and that's why I wanted to talk about it because I can't really take it any longer, you know. Yeah, uh, I didn't want to tell you, but I actually was just on Twitter for the first time in a while. Oh. I saw some things about you, dude. Some things about about me. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, whatever. Um, I mean, dude, I've been trying to like stay off, but I, yeah, whatever. Just, right. just tell me. Okay, so it says, uh, it says that you do drugs, you're in a relationship, and that you CGI'd all of your acne on your face for views on our last video. I mean, one of those things actually might be true. Can I laugh or no? <laughs> oh, shit, man, should we talk about this? Yeah, I think it's. I think we have to. I think we have to now. <laughs> I mean, all right, I guess we'll just talk about what people have been saying about us and what we've been avoiding. Um, I guess we should do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, um, we have been seeing people saying a lot of stuff about us online. I mean, for our whole lives we've seen it, but now more than ever, and I think that's because uh, everyone just wants to see everyone fall. I think there's an obvious common theme in the world right now where everyone's just trying to tear everybody down. and. We happen to be some of those people that people are trying to tear down. And yeah, not gonna lie, I don't like it. Why Why would I like it? Makes you live like very paranoid lifestyle. Like, could you imagine a bunch of people just watching you with a magnifying glass? Just like just waiting for you and wanting you to slip up. It's just like not really a cool feeling. Yeah. Also, trending you number one uh, about how you're over. Uh, yeah, I do, I saw that bro. Our, our, our is over party is tr was trending. Yeah, Dolan Twins is over. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna talk about why the Dolan Twins is over. Yeah, it was very grammatically correct too. So it was like kind of, I knew people were serious. <laughs> because the internet right now is very toxic for me, I had our team pull a bunch of assumptions that were made about us so that we could read them and address them and let you guys know what we think about them and the actual truth behind all these assumptions. I think, I think it'll be healthy for my paranoia to kind of just get everything out there and let you guys know what's actually real and what's actually fake. You gotta stop drinking that in bourbon. I'm just gonna, we're, we're getting serious. Man. I'm just gonna finish it real quick. Dude, they were right, dude. You do drink beer. Root beer. <laughs> this is full transparency. We're about to get juicy. Probably juicier than you've ever seen the Dole Twins get. So, let's begin. All right. Um, yeah, I got acne for views. I injected hormones into my neck via needle. Mm -hmm. He drank lots of milk too for the past two years in order to give himself acne. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't cut out dairy. Because everyone knows when you pop a pimple, the white stuff that comes out, that's just cheese. That's just fucking cheese. <laughs> Uh, Duh, bro, acne salt. Yeah, no, honestly, we... No. That was all full sarcasm. I have had a really long struggle with acne, as I tried to tell everybody about for 35 minutes in our last video, but maybe I guess some people didn't really get the point. Yeah, I've done everything in my power to not get acne, and I still got acne. Um, it was hormonal, it was internal, and there was nothing I could do about it. And um, I did care. I definitely did. I definitely did disappear for four months. I definitely did um, gain 25 pounds. And um, I didn't feel like I deserved... Uh, to live a good life because of the way my skin looks. So yeah, it was definitely a really terrible personal struggle for me. And I do kind of find it offensive that people were saying um, that I just did it for clicks because obviously the video didn't really get that many clicks and I still don't give it. And those, those assumptions and tweets really angered me because Ethan came to me, he told me, hey man, I wanna see if there's a way that I can help people. Like I just did this photo shoot. It's the most current thing going on in our lives. Our channel's always been about just keeping people up to date with our lives and this is how I feel right now. Can we make something that can help someone who has been in my position or is in my position? And now seeing all these people assuming that we did it for clicks is just, I don't know, it's, it's really disappointing. Yeah, I feel like people know us to not be people just to do things for clicks and uh, I think maybe it wasn't the juicy story that people wanted to hear so they decided to say that it was bullshit. People thought we got nose jobs. Yeah. I saw a lot of people saying that we got nose jobs back when we got sinus surgery. We made a video about it, like this. Did that video. And it, it was actually because I was born with this thing called a sinus deviation and I couldn't breathe out of my left nostril. <laughs> Still can't really because schnoz is clogged. But 
they made it a little bit better and I get less sinus infections. But right now, I have a sinus infection and it didn't really even fucking work. As you can tell by the antibiotics that were on the counter in the intro of this video. That's proof right there. We didn't get a nose job. Um, my nose is actually crooked because I got hit with a baseball in my nose when I was five years old. And I also punched him in the face. That's probably part of the reason. <laughs> it's probably exactly why. I, when we were five. No, you Maybe we weren't five. We were seven. No, it was in the shower. And you, yes, it was in the shower. That was I was you choking you out. My tooth. I was choking you out. No, you were getting out of the shower. I was choking you out, and you reached back and punched me in the face. You chipped my tooth in the shower. And you broke my nose forever in the shower. Why are we just fighting naked? We gotta stop doing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So there's this thing called melatonin. It, your body naturally produces it. If you have trouble sleeping, which a lot of people have, you can take melatonin. Yeah, it's basically just like a, a natural chemical that your body releases and then, it, and then you just take more of it, almost like a vitamin, but it just helps you sleep. So if you want to consider that drugs, then yeah, but I would say I've been sober my whole life and I'm going to continue to be forever. I also got a sober tat on my leg right there. It's a wine bottle that says apple juice because yes. I'd rather drink apple juice than wine. And um, I've lost a lot of friends over just being sober and choosing not to drink because I guess they don't see me as a cool person. But I'm going to remain that way for the rest of my life because it's true to me and who I am and my morals. And I'm not. I'm going to drink this beer right now. It's a root beer. Yeah, it's root beer. We've dropped all of our friends. Yeah, one day I woke up and I was like, you know, f it, I don't want friends anymore. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we like to be really lonely and Dude, we're, we're just being straight sarcastic. Yeah. Only we gotta stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, it sucks. Like you go through things, and I'm sure that you guys have, where you fall in and out of friendships. You guys grow into different people, and you just don't really hang out as much anymore. And for us, we let the public in on friendships that we've had in the past, and even even some we haven't let them in on. It's just like we've been like people will just kind of like investigate our lives and, and, and figure it out. With that being said, you know the public is also let in on when we are no longer friends with these people anymore because it's unavoidable and it's our lives and we want to share our lives with you guys and then also like you have to make sure that your friends are your friends for the right reason and they're not just doing it to get some clout uh, also I want to let you guys know that a follow doesn't dictate a friendship for some reason the internet thinks that if I follow or don't follow someone then I am or not their friend that that is by no means true um Honestly, I'm not proud to say it, but I was kind of pressured into like unfollowing a bunch of people. So I decided to just clear my entire follow list so that this would never happen again. And I wouldn't be put in this uncomfortable position where people think that a follow um, dictates your relationship with someone or your opinion on them. So now I only follow my companies and my brother and family members and uh, some fan accounts. Oh, wow. We used to be worth $5 million combined. Now, now I used to be worth four and you used to be worth one. I think that was actually what the internet said. Uh, I think, let's see, is that true? Mm, nah. Yeah, I would kind of like for it to be true. No, it's... It's true. Or is it more than true? It might be more than true. We make $5,200 a day on YouTube. I mean, that maybe people are able to calculate that. I don't even know how Could much... Can we do some quick math real quick? 52 times 30. 150. Sometimes true, sometimes more than true. Sometimes... Sometimes when I get acne, disappear for four months and make zero dollars. <laughs> the Dolan's ones are actually 5'11 five, five, five five eleven and weigh 195 pounds. That's a pretty precise assumption. How do you know my height and weight? Uh, honestly, I, I've been dieting and working out in a different way. Training in calisthenics, so it's it's helpful to be lighter and I've lost weight. But I was actually like an average of 195. I got up to 197 one time and... He's normally 15 pounds lighter than me. <laughs> and now I'm a... 168 pounds, so. Sad to say, uh, I've actually been 195 pounds, yeah. Did a doctor, did my doctor tweet that? <laughs> I have, have, I haven't dated anybody in a really long time. Grayson hasn't dated anyone since like seventh grade. Yeah, no, I haven't <laughs> dated any of these people. Uh, I, I honestly, in full honesty, I would tell you I haven't dated anybody in a really long time. And I'm get not too happy. Yeah, get a little desperate. Not too happy about that. I can confirm that Grayson is getting a little desperate. I'm just getting a little very lonely. So if you want to call that desperation, then I think I, think I want to call oh, it yeah, that. Honestly, <laughs> you can. It's kind of fun letting the juice flow, you know? Yeah. That uh, was poor choice of words. I meant like, what are they, uh, I think I meant, I meant root beer. Root beer flow? Getting juicy is what I mean. Yeah. Book us to do what through a website? I've never been booked through a website. That's a little, what does that even mean? That's sus. Being booked? Booked um, for what? I think I think I know why that this has been said. We actually went to someone's birthday party to surprise him one time, but it was a friend slash acquaintance, so it wasn't like a completely random thing. It was we weren't booked. We've surprised someone at a birthday party before because we thought it was nice. But no, you can't book us through a website. Yeah, we were canceled on the, on, on Twitter, and I was actually in a meeting, and I pulled up Twitter for another reason, and uh, I saw my name, well, my last name, along with his last name, trending, that we were over, and it was a party. We understand that we 
accidentally scheduled a video to go up on a certain day where it wasn't appropriate to upload, which we had no clue about until we learned from people deciding to say that we're over instead of just saying, hey guys, maybe don't upload tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, um, but we, we learned and we, we- took the steps to get educated and we decided to postpone the video upload. Yeah, just like, it, it was taken like really, in my opinion, way too far and people tried to cancel us. Yeah. But we heard the people that were politely asking and we made the change. So thank you to those people who were polite about it. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Leaked meat, leaked meat, we have nudes. Oh, I know what leaked meat means. <laughs> so, I don't think I even have any of that. I even have a bracelet that says vegan on it. So, none of his meat's leaking. I have seen really disturbing photoshopped images of me nude, then none of them are me. There was one of two nude versions of me, and one of them was eating the other ones. <laughs> Holy shit. And anytime a friend like didn't respond to one of my texts, I would send them that image like, okay, I'm gonna go f myself. <laughs> And no, I wouldn't actually eat my own ass. Obviously, the photo's fake. Ah, uh, dude, I don't know what the fuck's going on right now. <laughs> we use Jake Paul for fame? No. When we first met Jake, we connected like through like Snapchat. I felt like we, I added him through a mutual friend and then we we're talking about like wrestling and stuff. And we came to LA, we made some vines, had some fun, and that's kind of all it really was. Uh, and then I saw him write about us in his book that we, he, he asked us to be in Team 10 and we didn't and then he made us and stuff like that. Uh, which none of that ever happened. We've had conversations as of recently and we put that stuff in the past and none of it was true. The book wasn't true and this assumption is not true. Also, my ego is just far too big for me to feel like I'm gaining off of someone else. If you do Logan Paul, um, that was like a long time ago when he called me out for a cloud thing. And then I just clapped back. I was like, you know, what can I say that's funny? And then I said something funny. I don't, I don't disrespect the guy at all by any means. Yeah, no, we actually have respect for him, and I, we he, haven't, we haven't talked in a really long time now. Yeah, he, he's moved on. He's taken the right steps to like become a better person. And he's really done so. His content shows and his podcast, which I actually listen to. We recently dropped two million dollars in a house. Uh, false. It was more. Okay, next. Nearly 30 people were once almost injured at Don't Sue Meet and Greet. That was a long time ago, and it wasn't a meet and greet, it was our live show. I'm gonna tell you guys a story here, because this kind of is a little bit juicy. It was our first live show of all time, there was a lot of people there. I heard the loudest noise that I've ever heard in my entire life. It was everybody's combined scream, and I literally just couldn't hear anymore. So I looked at someone in the front row, and they looked at me and fainted, completely just collapsed. And then like six seconds later, regained consciousness and just started screaming still. And then a police officer came out onto stage randomly and stopped the show and told me that way too many people were fainting and we needed to pause and have an intermission. So I got off the stage and there was a, a fan behind the uh, barricade area where our backstage was. Yeah, the med squad was also backstage with us. So people were pretending. I think what happened was a couple people actually fainted and then the rest saw that they were being brought backstage and then they thought they can come see us and then they pretended to faint. Uh, so it wasn't actually 30, I think only four. Everyone was healthy and fine, it was only like a, uh, a, a little bit of an issue at the time, but everyone turned out to be a-okay. Obviously, I would never intend for people to be hurt uh, by seeing me, and now we know, so we take necessary safety precautions whenever we go somewhere where uh, something like that could happen. Yeah, like a convention or show. Wake Heart is a money-grabbing scam. It, gra it grabbed my money because I invested hundreds of thousands of dollars into it because I really believe in the message that we are trying to spread uh, through our, our company Wakeheart. Yeah, we wanted to take uh, spreading a message to another level and also give people high quality products that they can have in their hands that will make them happy. It's definitely not a money grab. It's uh, something that we feel really passionate about and we're also really passionate about business and, and learning about growing uh, a business from the ground up. And if you have um, if you have an interest in business and want to grow one on your own, I think that's really awesome. And I would give you my full support and uh, say go ahead and chase your dreams because that's what we're doing. I know we've been sarcastic in a lot of this video, but we're gonna be dead serious right now. Uh, this one really upset me because, first of all, I am by no means homophobic in any way. Yeah, I'm 20 years old, and at this point, I know exactly who I am, and I know my values, and I know my beliefs, and I know that I have a lot of friends and family members and people who care about me and people who watch our videos who are in the LGBTQ community, and I have the absolute utmost respect for, and I want them to feel safe and welcomed because there's absolutely zero reason why they shouldn't. I know for a fact that I'm absolutely not homophobic. I'm very, very far from it. So for people to assume this about me, if you want to think that about me, it's really disturbing to me, but in my heart, I know, and I know that a lot of people know the truth that I am absolutely not. This is part of the reason why I self-funded a music video that spread the word of pride and, um, was for the LGBTQ community and, you know, my way of artistically portraying the message that Everybody is equal and love is love. We felt that we wanted to use what we had and use our voice to 
not only show people who are in our generation or the generations that come, but people who are uncomfortable with the fact that people of any gender or sexual orientation are allowed to love each other. Uh, so a reason that I'm led to believe that this assumption is being made is because there's a video of us explaining our not so pleasant high school experience and it was when we were letting our fans know why we were moving to LA. Um, yeah, we were, we were severely bullied in high school, I'm going to be honest. I didn't want to admit it to myself at the time that I was being bullied because I didn't like to think that I let people's words get to me. And we were trying to tell our story about how we were being treated in the most accurate way possible. And by doing that, we used a word that had been used against us a lot that I personally was offended by. Mm -hmm. In this video, we did bleep the word because it was disgusting and used against us and absolutely not a part of our vocabulary at all. So we decided to bleep the word. Now I know the correct way to refer to that word to not offend people. Um, and referring to that word now as the F slur is the way to do so. Back then, I had no clue. It was six years ago, I was 14 years old. So and we decided to bleep it because we didn't agree with it. And for anybody that is offended by that video clip, we are very sorry. And I just wanna yeah, say that we, we are not homophobic in any way. It was never our intent to offend anybody at all and we were just quoting what we were being called daily. But again, our sincere apologies to those who were offended by that clip. Ooh. Yep. You're just gonna... Hmm. Uh, it wouldn't be fair for us to talk about it unless everybody in said squad had their opportunity to speak on mm -hmm. it on their own behalf. And we're not in sync with anybody in the squad by any means, so we actually haven't talked to them in a while. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that I'm confident that everybody is comfortable with speaking about that, so we're just gonna, I guess, leave that question up for assumption. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I think those are all our assumptions. Uh, there will be many more, and there probably are many more assumptions about us, but I just want to say they're inevitable. Mm -hmm. People are going to make assumptions about us. I'm 20 years old now. I know that I have more to learn, but I know who I am now, and I'm not going to let people online try to tell me who I am. To improve my quality of life, I'm going to listen to my own voice telling me who I am, rather than a bunch of people who I have no clue telling me who I am. I feel like everyone can kind of relate to this in, in a certain capacity where rumors are spread and things are made up about you, and you know, it's not very pleasant, especially when they're not true and they can be malicious and trying to take you down. But as long as you know who you are in your heart of hearts, that's what matters. And I know who I am. Ethan knows who he is. I believe that I'm a good person. I've grown a lot, I've learned a lot, and I'm, I'm happy with who I am right now. And I'm, I'm gonna just make it a thing to, to really focus on learning and growing. Because I think that's what life's all about. Yeah, I know most of you guys watching this video aren't assuming things about us, and I really appreciate you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to grow up with you in a sense. I know we've been doing this for six years, so a person makes a lot of growth from 14 to 20 years old, and thank you for seeing me through everything and letting me go through stages and phases of my life uh, without judging me. And we didn't make this to say that we're squeaky clean people who are never gonna mess up or have never messed up. Mm -hmm. It's inevitable, all of us do. I think it makes us learn more and you're able to become a better person every time you do mess up. Yeah. So, um, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, all right, to that, I think we have some, some drugs. <laughs> Diet root beer. The only beer I'm drinking. This was crazy. We've never really been this open on camera, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, learned something new about us. I'm assuming that all of you guys are subscribed. And if you're not, I'm assuming that you're going to. I assume that you're on your way to subscribing right now. And I assume that you've just subscribed. And if you did, thank you. <laughs>